If you guys, some of you, any new guys, anything, you guys don't know me, my name is Jody Rogers, a.k.a. Metal Mom. <laughs> and I was pretty much the instigator of getting Slumber and Magdalene Rose here. <laughs> Send an email to Kelly. Kelly directly sent it to Pastor Jesse, and that was it. Um, so, this is my testimony because that was very, it was like a whirlwind, and it hit me personally, um, but now I know why. So, um, I love that we are starting in James because this goes perfectly with my testimony today. Um, I truly believe that God is working in a huge way with his kids, <laughs> big time. Uh, and he's bringing back ones that have fallen away. He's also definitely testing ones that are still with him. And I know God never tempts us. That's the bad guy. But he does test us from time to time. And I got one. <laughs> Here's my test. Everyone who knows me knows my passion is music. Favorite band is Shinedown. Well, jump back a month ago. I'm all set, ready to go. Kansas City, Missouri, September 4th to see them. I bought tickets. I rented a hotel. Had a ride. Everything was ready to go, right? <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> Two weeks before the departure time, I get an email from management of a band called Seventh Day Slumber asking if I know of any place they could play. It's free. I just They just need to plug in somewhere. They bring their own lighting. It's a recovery tour. And well, long story short, I sent the email to Kelly, who in turn sent it to Pastor Jesse. Pastor Jesse was beyond excited, to say the least. And I told him at that time that I would help if he needed it. I was thrilled. I told the Lord a while back that I wanted to get more involved with recovery. And do, I'm doing the AFSP walk on the 30th. If you guys don't know what that is, that's the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And um, I'm doing that walk. And other said band mentioned Shinedown. That's one of their big things. Every ticket sale for them, a dollar went to AFSP uh, for the suicide prevention. And we raised a lot, a lot of money this, this summer and, and uh, this, this uh, fall tour coming up. So anyway, so I did tell them I wanted to get involved with that. All right. And then, like I said, they've been with it. Shinedown has been talking about mental health for like 20 years. So fast forward. Hey, my joy and excitement died when I heard the date <laughs> of this coming of this show, September 4th, I was like, God, are you kidding me? <laughs> Seriously? Now? Really? You know? And my show for Kansas City, Missouri was the same date. So, talk about struggle. Then it dawned on me, this is a test. God wants to know if I really put him first or other things, and he knew where to visit me too and where to hit me hard. Conflict between two concerts, go figure. <laughs> My first thought was, okay. Jesse said, yes, the slumber and that's good. I'll go ahead and go to my concert in Kansas City. Wrong. <laughs> I get a message from said pastor <laughs> with this. This is an amazing opportunity for our community, and I'm going to need your help. <laughs> no, you told me that. <laughs> Boom, that did it. My plans completely changed, but God was in this the whole time. As Joe Rojas from, Shine, from Slumber, Seventh Day Slumber said, this is all God. This tour, what we use are doing it, it's all for God. 
I couldn't agree more. I passed the test. God gave me a reprieve. I do get to see Shine Down, but not until October. And I'm not going to say that too loud because you might change other plans. <laughs> <laughs> so, <clears throat> all right. So, point is, God will test us, and He knows how to do it, as He did me. Um, so, my scripture actually comes from James 2, which we'll probably be doing next week, but it goes completely th with this. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. If any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt, because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind. And that person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Believers in humble circumstances ought to take pride in their high position, but the rich should take pride in their humiliation. Uh, that will all pass away. We'll <laughs> so anyway, I'm not going to go all that. We'll be studying all that. <laughs> but bottom line is... Um, you do get tested, and in different ways. Mine's music. You guys might be something completely different. But just um, always be prepared to change your plans, because it happens. Thank you. <laughs>